So, Sairam boys and girls and aunties and uncles and other misfits who don't fall into this category. I'm totally hyped. I mean... <laughs> Everybody gives you a share of <laughs> Right, like I was saying, before I was interrupted. I'm totally hyped, not from Hammerhexen and Lucas A. Positive, but from the totally hyped, totally roof blowing, mind blowing. It was like, what? I mean, I feel like jumping up and saying, oh, she's standing around. <laughs> So, before I start, let me just say Trap and Alan and Kyle, if you can hear me, from all of us, thank you so much. <laughs> and take a bow, take a bow. Do the bow, two, three, and bow. Good, good, good. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right, I never see two. Well, that's okay, guys, dancing. One room back, but all right. All right, so before I start, I just want to acknowledge some of the heads that I see, the, the important people, the old and new and old people. So let's start, right? So we're starting with Uncle Subash Mutur, National Youth Coordinator. Sayam, Sayam. Suresh G from Youth coordinator for Southeast region. He says he can't interrupt me just now. Then we have the Northeast Memsab Marissa Mahaber, who can just run inside. And Father Hamad Rapper, North Region. <laughs> and a special welcome to the real foreigner, Uncle Andres. It's a pleasure having you here with us. And to all the fake foreigners who travel far and across many highways to get here. Welcome. So you know, I think Derek and I have a lot of karma with each other. I mean, not just a lot, a lot of karma with each other. I mean, I hope it's all finished, really. Yeah. But I think it was two years ago when the youth went to the great land of far, far Tobago. And where, you know, they have sun and sand and water, like, Beaches and fountains and chlorinated pools by chance. I don't know if you remember that. I remember that. And we all know what happened, right? No, we don't. Let me enlighten you all. So Jerry decided to do a tidal wave and then he drawn him up. But he must survive to tell the tale, thank God. And I'm sure that everybody who was there will never forget that. Derek, don't forget that Derek, I will love you, I will never forget. All right. And then of course, how can I forget? It was Derek's birthday, the first one. Not the 40 years ago one. Oh. One like two years ago, where we went to the Moroccan's place. And, <laughs> and Derek decided he wanted to go swimming with all the people. So Derek went out into the water and decided, I want to wage war on the great big blue. And who went down the blue when you are? Yeah. All right? We're not only here, yeah? I mean, Father Bobo was there, so we had, you know, a little chance of when we were like that. And of course, it's like, who did nothing until the end? <laughs> but we still can't get them anyway. So I just say, you know, Derek and I have so much karma to pay off with each other. And I'll read to you now a little excerpt from the big guy. Not, not, not Derek. Yeah. Baba, right? So this piece is on karma. So everybody knows that karma is action and the consequence of action. By doing a bad act, you cannot expect to get a good result. And if you do a good deed, you cannot get a bad reaction from it. The kind of seeds you sow will determine the nature of the crop you use. Now that's from Summer Showers, 1977. No, I did not go waste in 1977. Look for that, I found it on the net. So, the course of our lives is conditioned by the rights we earn 
and the obligations we incur. So also our physical circumstances and mental and spiritual tendencies are derived from what was done before. We are not placed randomly in life, either to succeed or to fail in any one given lifetime. We must take responsibility for the course of our own actions and of our own lives. Everybody who is in the car coming up with me, this piece is for you. Ignorance is not an escape from karma. Repeat after me. Ignorance is not an escape from karma. Very good. No, it's not. Baba say so. Don't argue with the man for now. You don't have a small suggestion right now. The result of bad actions follow closer than a shadow. Therefore, if we live good lives and live God's grace, the tar of evil karma is unable to stick. But since we are housing human bodies, sometimes we create karma unaware. So, word of advice, scrub hard with the soap of Baba's divine grace. You know how a kiddie diva soap is wash away a hoop part? That's what Baba's soap will do, right? It'll, it'll wash away all the soap, right? Okay. Just a word of advice, take it by Swami says in such as I speaks volume 4, the consequence of karma can be wiped out through anybody know? Not so. That was the one before. There's a new one. Through karma, duh. <laughs> right? Bad stuff may be righted when you do more and more good stuff. Right? You know, sometimes I've often wondered what it is that I have done in my past that gave me such good karma. I mean, to know Swami and to know all you peacefully uplifting, nice people. So good against him for that. And all the other good things that happen. I mean, I think Swami has united us youth to fight, obviously, and to love each other, because we do that every day, and to learn from each other as days turn into weeks, weeks into months, months into years. Right? I mean, I have spent so much time with this youth, I think I've seen it all. The good, the bad, the hideous <laughs> young. I didn't point in your direction, I was pointed at the bridge. <laughs> I mean, let me point out a few, right? 